using a synchronous method invocation in session beams. Discusses how to implement asynchronous business methods in session beams and call them from enterprise bean clients. The following topics are addressed here. Asynchronous method invocation via sync example application asynchronous method invocation. Session beans can implement asynchronous methods, business methods where control is returned to the client by the enterprise bean container before the method is invoked on the session bean instance. Clients may then use the Java SE Concurrency API to retrieve the result, cancel the invocation, and check for exceptions. Asynchronous methods are typically used for long-running operations, for processor-intensive tasks, for background tasks, to increase application throughput, or to improve application response time if the method invocation result isn't required immediately. When a session bean client invokes a typical non-asynchronous business method, control is not returned to the client until the method has completed. Clients calling asynchronous methods, however, immediately have control returned to them by the enterprise bean container. This allows the client to perform other tasks while the method invocation completes. If the method returns a result, the result is an implementation of the Java. Util. Concurrent. Future, V, interface, where V is the result value type. The future, V, interface defines methods the client may use to check if the computation is completed, wait for the invocation to complete, retrieve the final result, and cancel the invocation, creating an asynchronous business method. Annotate a business method with JavaX. EJB. Asynchronous to mark that method as an asynchronous method, or apply. Asynchronous at the class level to mark all the business methods of the session bean as asynchronous methods. Session bean methods that expose a web services can't be asynchronous. Asynchronous methods must return either void or an implementation of the future, v, interface. Asynchronous methods that return void can declare application exceptions, but if they return future, v, they may declare application exceptions. For example, asynchronous public future string process payment order order throws payment exception. This method will attempt to process the payment of an order and return the status as a string. Even if the payment processor takes a long time, the client can continue working and display the result when the processing finally completes. The JAVAX EJB a sync result, V, class is a concrete implementation of the future, V, interface provided as a helper class for returning asynchronous results. A sync result has a constructor with the result as a parameter, making it easy to create future, V, implementations. For example, the process payment method would use a sync result to return the status as a string. Asynchronous public future, string. Process payment order order throws payment exception. String status equal. Return new async result. String. Status. The result is returned to the enterprise bean container, not directly to the client, and the enterprise bean container makes the result available to the client. The session bean can check if the client requested that the invocation be cancelled by calling the JAVAX. EJB. Session context was cancelled method. For example, asynchronous public future string process payment order order throws payment exception. If session context was cancelled, clean up else. Process the payment. Calling asynchronous methods from enterprise bean clients. Session bean clients call asynchronous methods just like non-asynchronous business methods. If the asynchronous method returns a result, the client receives a future v instance as soon as the method is invoked. This instance can be used to retrieve the final result, cancel the invocation, check whether the invocation has completed, check if there were any exceptions thrown during processing, and check if the invocation was canceled. Retrieving the final result from an asynchronous method invocation the client may retrieve the result using one of the future v get methods if processing hasn't completed by the session bean handling the invocation calling one of the get methods will result in the client halting execution until the invocation completes use the future v 
is done method to determine if processing has completed before calling one of the get methods. The get method returns the result as a type specified in the type value of the future, v, instance. For example, calling future string get will return a string object. If the method invocation was canceled, calls to get result in a Java util concurrent cancellation exception being thrown. If the invocation resulted in an exception during processing by the session bean, calls to get result in a Java util concurrent execution exception being thrown. The cause of the execution exception may be retrieved by calling the execution exception get cause method the get long timeout java util concurrent time unit unit method is similar to the get method but allows the client to set a timeout value if the timeout value is exceeded a java util concurrent timeout exception is thrown see the java doc for the time unit class for the available units of time to specify the timeout value Canceling an asynchronous method invocation. Call the cancel boolean may interrupt if running method on the future v instance to attempt to cancel the method invocation. The cancel method returns true if the cancellation was successful, and false if the method invocation cannot be canceled. When the invocation cannot be canceled, the may interrupt if running parameter is used to alert the session bean instance on which the method invocation is running that the client attempted to cancel the invocation. If may interrupt if running is set to true, calls to session context was canceled by the session bean instance will return true. If may interrupt if running is to set false, calls to session context was canceled by the session bean instance will return false. The future, v, is cancelled method is used to check if the method invocation was cancelled before the asynchronous method invocation completed by calling future, v, cancel. The is cancelled method returns true if the invocation was cancelled. Checking the status of an asynchronous method invocation. The future, v, is done method returns true if the session bean instance completed processing the method invocation. The is done method returns true if the asynchronous method invocation completed normally was cancelled or resulted in an exception. That is, is done only indicates whether the session bean has completed processing the invocation. The async example application. The async example demonstrates how to define an asynchronous business method on a session bean and call it from a web client. The mailer bean stateless session bean defines an asynchronous method, send message, which uses the Java mail API to send an email to a specified email address. Note, this example needs to be configured for your environment before it runs correctly and requires access to an SMTPS server. Architecture of the async example application. The async application consists of a single stateless session bean, Miller bean, and a Java server faces web application front end that uses faceless tags in XHTML files to display a form for users to enter the email address for the recipient of an email. The status of the email is updated when the email is finally sent. The Mailer Bean session bean injects a Java mail resource used to send an email message to an address specified by the user. The message is created, modified, and sent using the Java Mail API. The injected Java Mail resource is configured through the Glassfish Server Administration Console, or through a resource configuration file packaged with the application. The resource configuration can be modified at runtime by Glassfish Server Administrator to use a different mail server or transport protocol. Asynchronous Public Future String Send message string email string status. Try message message equal new my message session. Message. Set from. Message. Set recipient's message. Recipient type. TO. Internet address. Parse email. False. Message. Set subject test message from a sync example. Message. Set header x mailer. Java mail. Date format date formatter equal date format. Get date time instance date format. Long date format. Short. Date time stamp equal new date. 
String message body equal this is a test message from the async example plus of the Java EA tutorial. It was sent on plus date formatter. Format time stat plus semicolon. Message. Set text message body. Message. Set send date time stamp. Transport. Send message. Status equal sent. Logger. Log level. Info. Mail sent to zero. Email. Catch messaging exception X logger. Severe error in sending message. Status equal encountered an error. Logger. Severe X. Get message plus X. Get next exception. Get message. Logger. Severe X. Get cause. Get message. Return new async result. String. Status. The web client consists of a facelift template. Template. XHTML. Two facelifts clients. Index. XHTML and response. XHTML and a Java server faces managed bean. Miller managed bean. The index. XHTML file contains a form for the target email address. When the user submits the form, the mailer managed bean. Send method is called. This method uses an injected instance of a mailer bean session bean to call mailer bean. Send message. The result is sent to the response. XHTML facelets view. Configuring the key store and trust tour in Glassfish server. The Glassfish server domain needs to be configured with the server's master password to access the key store and trust tour used to initiate secure communications using the SMTPS transport protocol. Open the Glassfish server administration console in a web browser at HTTP. Localhost. 4848. Expand configurations, then expand server config, then click JVM settings. Click JVM options, then click add JVM option and enter JVX. Net. SSL. Key store password equal master password, replacing master password with the key store master password. The default master password is Shajit. Click add JVM option and enter JVX. Net. SSL. Trust store password equal master password, replacing master password with a trust tour master password. The default master password is Shajit. Click save, then restart Glassfish server, running the async example application in NetBeans IDE. Follow these instructions for running the async example application in NetBeans IDE. Before you begin, before running this example, you must configure your Glassfish server instance to access the key store and trust tour used by Glassfish server to create a secure connection to the target SMTPS server. From the file menu, choose Open Project. In the Open Project dialog, navigate to Tut Install Examples EJB Select the async folder and click Open Project. Under a sync in the project pane, expand the server resources node and double-click Glassfish resources. XML. Enter the configuration settings for your SMTPS server in Glassfish resources. XML. The SMTPS server host name is set in the host attribute. Email address from which you want the message sent is the from attribute. The SMTPS username is the user attribute. Set the mail SMTPS password property value to the password for the SMTPS server user. The following code snippet shows an example resource configuration. Lines in bold need to be modified. Resources. Mail resource debug equal false enabled equal true from equal user. Example. Com host equal SMTP. Example. Com JNDI name equal mail. My example session object type equal user store protocol equal and map store protocol class equal com. Sun. Mail. Emap. I'm up store transport protocol equal SMTPS transport protocol class equal com. Sun. Mail. SMTP. SMTPS SLTRANSPORT user equal user. Example. Com. Description. Property name equal mail SMTPS off value equal true. Property name equal mail SMTPS password value equal my password. 
Mail resource. Resources. Right click a sync in the project pane and select run. This will compile, assemble, and deploy the application and start a web browser at the following URL. HTTP. Localhost. 8080. A sync. In the web browser window, enter the email to which you want the test message sent and click send email. If your configuration settings are correct, a test email will be sent and the status message will read sent in the web client. The test message should appear momentarily in the inbox of the recipient. If an error occurs, the status will read encountered an error. Check the server. Log file for your domain to find the cause of the error. Running the async example application using it. Follow these instructions for running the async example application using it. In a terminal window, navigate to TUT install. Examples. EJB. Async. In a text editor, open setup. Glassfish resources. XML and enter the configuration settings for your SMTPS server. The SMTPS server host name is set in the host attribute. Email address from which you want the message sent is the from attribute. The SMTPS username is the user attribute. Set the mail SMTPS password property value to the password for the SMTPS server user. The following code snippet shows an example resource configuration. Lines in bold need to be modified. Resources. Mail resource debug equal false enabled equal true from equal user. Example. Com host equal SMTP. Example. Com JNDI name equal mail. My example session object type equal user store protocol equal and map store protocol class equal com. Sun. Mail. Map. I'm up store transport protocol equal SMTPS. Transport protocol class equal com. Sun. Mail. SMTP. SMTPS SLTRANSPORT user equal user. Example. Com. Description. Property name equal mail SMTPS of value equal true. Property name equal mail SMTPS password value equal my password. Mail resource. Resources. Enter the following command. And all. This will compile, assemble, and deploy the application and start a web browser at the following URL. HTTP. Localhost. 8080. Async. Note, if your build system isn't configured to automatically open a web browser, open the above URL in a browser window. In the web browser window, enter the email to which you want the test message sent and click send email. If your configuration settings are correct, a test email will be sent and the status message will read sent in the web client. The test message should appear momentarily in the inbox of the recipient. If an error occurs, the status will read encountered an error. Check the server. Log file for your domain to find the cause of the error.